support your sponsor chefdepot.com hello I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of radish flowers today very simple this is our six piece garnishing set it's in stock uh, you get this cool case you get these six pieces they're good for melons they're good for uh, grapes and you know apples pears oranges radishes you name it uh, I personally like to keep my tools very sharp so when I get something like this uh, even even new I like to get them a little sharper I'm using this uh, little diamond file once again here just gonna give them a little a little rub like this and get them just a little bit sharper so that they uh, cut through more effortlessly you can do the uh, rounded side too just very carefully like this so okay This one I'm going to just basically cut right in half with the V-cutter. Very, very easy to do this type of a garnish. As long as you have the tools. There you go. And this one, same thing with the round part. I'm going to just cut it right down the middle. Okay. okay, this one I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to use just the pointed part of the tool and uh, make a star pattern like this going in. Okay, it's pretty cool. And then uh, we're going to complete the star by going around and around uh, each each part of it like this and removing a little bit of the material okay you can remove it with the small paring knife or another tool if you want to just show off the top of the top of the flower. Okay, I'm going to continue with this one and just go around removing a little chunk off each one like this. This is kind of a strange flower. Okay, you can kind of see where I'm going with this and then on the bottom I use the uh, rounded part and just give a little uh, a little more of a flared out effect and this doesn't look like much now but when it's in the ice water it will uh, pop out look a lot more three-dimensional okay I'm gonna switch to a larger tool and uh, gives a slightly different effect I'm use the next size up here pretty nice little uh, tool bag that it comes in too alright so for the next size quickly cut off the bottom you always want them to stand up flat even for later when they uh, when they puff up so you can do a lot of different things a lot of different garnishes with these uh, I'm going to on this one I'm gonna do it kinda of reverse we're gonna start at the bottom and we're gonna come up like this just all the way around
Okay, that'll pop off. There you go. Kind of cool. I like it. I suppose I should use the knife and maybe open this up a little bit because it will, uh, when it gets cold, it will pop out. Comes a little more three dimensional. This is where it's helpful to have a razor sharp thin knife like this Japanese knife. Uh, a lot of you guys out there don't have them. I know the schools and you know, you know, families, mom and dad, whatever, they got a bunch of crap, but that's okay. You can start with the crap, move up to the good stuff later. Uh, it's just nice to have the, the good stuff, man. It's so much easier to cut, uh, more efficient, it's safer. There's so many reasons why you need good tools. There you go. Okay. This is going to go in the ice water. Got some ice water here. This will be uh, in the refrigerator as well, and these will puff up. Support your sponsor, ChefDepot.com. Have a beautiful day. Okay. These radishes were soaking in ice water in the refrigerator overnight. And you can see it is... Uh, popped out some of the uh, little petals there looks pretty cool and uh, these ones here were uh, soaked in a little bit of yellow food coloring pick up a little bit of yellow and these ones have a little green food coloring pick up a little green okay here's the finished radishes I've just uh, got a little bit of orange zest here to kind of hold them in place adds a little color so they're going to open up more the longer you leave them in the refrigerator with the ice water. But they look pretty good and I want you to see them finish up this little video for you here. And uh, please support your sponsor, ChefDepot.com. And uh, keep cooking. If you order these garnishing tools from ChefDepot.com in the next couple of months, they'll be including a free little pamphlet how to do these carvings. Uh, it's not that hard to do. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Okay, just adding some of these colored radishes here to show you how they turned out. Here's the yellow. Another yellow, green. These were in the refrigerator for about 24 hours in ice water. <coughs> okay, the uh, the finished radish flowers. Check it out. Hope you like them. Support your sponsor, ChefDepot.com. Have a great day.